onion and cheek cells. Onion peel To do the experiment we require Cover slip Glycerine Glass slides Onion Watch glasses Distilled water Saffronin solution Porceps Brush Needle Compound microscope Blotting paper Procedure Take some distilled water using a dropper and put it in a watch glass. Take half a piece of onion from the watch glass and remove a leaf from the onion piece. Remove a piece of transparent onion peel with the forceps. Put the epidermis into the watch glass containing water. Take some saffronin solution using a dropper. Put a few drops of saffronin solution into another watch glass. Using a brush, transfer the peel into a watch glass containing saffronin solution. Keep the epidermis for 30 seconds in saffronin solution so the peel can become stained. Using the brush, take the peel from the saffronin solution and put it into the watch glass containing distilled water. Using a dropper, Take some glycerin and put 2 to 3 drops of glycerin in the middle of a dry glass slide. Using the brush, transfer the peel to the slide containing glycerin. Take a cover slip and place it gently on the peel with the help of a needle. Remove the extra glycerin using a blotting paper. View the slide under the compound microscope. Observations A large number of regularly shaped cells are lying side by side. Each cell has a distinct cell wall. A distinct nucleus is present on the periphery of each cell. Lightly stained cytoplasm is observed in each cell. A large vacuole is present in the center of each cell, surrounded by the cytoplasm. Conclusion All cell walls and large vacuoles are clearly observed in all cells and the cells in the observations are plant cells. Human Cheek Cells To do the experiment we require Toothpick Cover slip, methylene blue solution, glycerine, glass slide, distilled water, brush, needle, compound microscope, filter paper. Procedure Take some distilled water using a dropper and put it in the middle of the glass slide. Take a clean toothpick and gently scrap the inner side of the cheek. Rub the scrap on the glass slide that contains water. Mix the mixture using a needle and spread it. Take methylene blue solution using a dropper and add a few drops to the mixture on the slide. After 2-3 to three minutes, remove excess water and stain using a blotting paper. Take glycerin using a dropper and add a few drops of glycerin to the test mixture. Take a clean cover slip and lower it carefully on the mixture by using a needle. Using a brush and needle, press the cover slip gently to spread the epithelial cells. Remove extra liquid around the cover slip using a blotting paper.
view the slide under the compound microscope. Observations a large number of flat and irregular shaped cells are observed. The cells do not have a cell wall. However, each cell has a thin cell membrane. A deeply stained nucleus is observed in the center of each cell. No prominent vacuole is observed in the cells. Conclusion as the cells observed do not have a cell wall or a prominent vacuole, the cells of the specimen on the slide are animal cells.